Guys, what's going on? It's Fursy here from P4C. Welcome back to the channel. If you miss our ETB opening, make sure you go check it out. Uh, we will have the link uh, in the description below. But it is the release of uh, Twilight Masquerade uh, this particular week, 24th of May. We've been lucky enough to get our hands on this particular product slightly early so we'll be able to do a uh, early opening and review with you guys uh we talk a lot about this particular set already in our etb opening but we will talk a little bit more about this set in this opening too with that said let's go into our uh unboxing because i said opening too many times let's go into our unboxing and let's hope that we'll be able to pull some more awesome cards for you guys let's go all right here we go uh first box here uh already we have said that um from a collector side we'll let you guys be the judge uh but you know i don't think i'll be saving a slab or saving this particular box uh because i mean i just think uh, a lot of these pokemons are new and they're not that popular and if there is uh some of the, some chase card that you want from this particular set you're probably better off uh to tell the honest truth just to uh, buy the singles out rather than trying to open box and mountains of them and then go for that uh, go for that card and with that said uh you know if you are a competitive player and you want to open a few box of fun why not uh why not to test your luck a little bit here um now the chase card that we have won um we don't want anything fancy we just want dragapult ex uh that's all we want Dragon Ball EXs uh, because it is uh, going to be a meta changing deck I think uh, from a lot of people's standpoint uh, so hopefully we'll be able to pull at least one or two uh, to showcase you guys um, if not it will be great if we can pull all four of them uh, to make a deck uh, Duplin here uh, Caretaker Abba and then wow okay that I actually was uh, this was slipping through my mind as a topic of discussion as we get a uh, Piran here, a full art trainer uh, card. Now, in we, I was uh, I competed in a pre-release uh, on Sunday, uh, which they also had a booster box uh, to give out as prizes, and mm, I don't know if if Pokemon is really listening to people's complaint or not. Uh, in these days and they're actually acting upon on these complaints quite quickly uh, because um, I think when um, when Scarlet and Violet came out oh nice another AR and when Scarlet and Violet came out uh, people were complaining left right and center about the pull rate not necessarily complaining about the pull rate in the sense that it was bad um, people were complaining about the pull rate in the sense that it was too easy it was too easy to pull SAR, it was too easy to pull Gold, it was too easy to pull this and pull that. Uh, and then this lasted, I think, for about two or three sets, maybe two sets. And the reason why I say this is, in my opening journey with Skull and Violet, um, you may say I was very lucky. Maybe I was. Uh, for the... I actually opened an entire case, meaning six uh, booster boxes for... Uh, for the first few set and I gotta say the pull rate was amazing uh, every single box that I open has a uh, SAR which is uh, SIR in English a special illustrated rare or special art rare and then uh, almost feels like I was getting you know three or four big hits uh, for uh, for the set so um, now coming back to coming back to this particular box that we open uh during our pre-release i would say that particular box maybe it was just a one odd really odd box and maybe we're going to pull a lot of multiple hits here which is a bit of a slap in the in the mouth for myself uh, commenting on this uh, but even i noticed this on the last set a little bit um the pull rates aren't as strong or aren't as easy uh anymore and this is where I think some people watching this particular video uh, or maybe even Pokemon company watching this video is going to say, oh, we can't win. Uh, you know, some people complain about it being too easy. Some people complain about being too hard. Um, I don't know if I ever said that I like it 
easy or like it hard. That just come out different wrong, completely wrong. But I think I'm on the fence of, uh, you know, uh, always getting good hits uh, rather than hits being harder to chase for, I think. Uh, especially being a competitive player nowadays, um, I feel it is much better to get uh, to get the hits uh, just because uh, you 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 spend less uh, in terms of uh, buying and chasing uh, anyway so that's kind of the things that I've noticed uh, with uh, Pokemon uh, recently yes come on I saw the I saw the blinking background and then I thought this might be it all right let's go a Dragon Ball EX full art here, uh, 200 out of 167. Now, this card is going to be in pretty hot property, I would say, uh, on the on the market right now. Uh, as I explain, um, with uh, as I explain, the Hong Kong Championship is just right around the corner, and I would imagine a lot of people would be wanting to build this particular deck. Uh, so. Uh, people may be paying relatively high prices for them uh, and I might consider letting it go and then turning one Dragon Ball EX into uh, four Dragon Ball EXs uh, just because uh, I cannot actually compete in that uh, particular competition as I've been registered uh, for the uh, for for the Australian region now these leaves that I'm using are actually pretty terrible. I'm not sure if you can see it, uh, but as soon as I put the card in, it's obviously a little bit too tight. Maybe you can see the card bend already. So I'm actually going to swap over with some other sleeves, uh, making sure we don't damage the cards. A few moments later. Right, in terms of sleeves, these are the sleeves that I normally use, but I think I'm running out of them, uh, which is crazy to think because I bought about 20 packs or whatnot uh, on um, while I was in Japan. And then now we're only down to a final few packs. And then I bought these really tight sleeves um, from Japan as well. They were cheap, uh, so I thought, you know, maybe we can use them. Uh, but it seems like for it seems like for some of these cards, uh, it might not be a good idea, uh, as it was kind of uh, swishing the card a little bit. And maybe for the Green Ninja card, I don't think I mind. Uh, using them but they are kind of warping the cards um, as soon as I put in if you you do really feel like uh, the cards were um, warped a little bit all right uh, Red Ninja EX here actually uh, just a regular rare so we probably won't put it on uh, on screen because maybe we can pull the SAR uh, all right continuing on continuing on uh, yes so uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, because for Pokemon, if you compete it in one region, uh, you cannot go out and compete in other uh, region because uh, it's not the way to go, apparently. Uh, which kind of, I don't know if that makes sense. It's almost like... <sighs> What's the best? I don't know if this is the best way to describe it. It's almost like, oh, if you compete it in Kanto, you cannot go into um, yeah, the Historian. Sorry. Considering this is probably going back in time, but the Galarian region, uh, because you uh, tag as a Kanto player. That's how this kind of makes sense. Uh, agree or disagree? I'll let you be the judge. But you know, after having say, you know, the pull rates uh, may have gone a little bit more difficult. Here we are, uh, big slap in the mouth uh, because we have pulled a full art trainer, a full art. Uh, Dragon Ball EX here, ex uh, exactly something that we wanted. Uh, we are hoping there is more, maybe. The Teal Mask, uh, Oko Horn here. Yeah, overall, um, from a collector's standpoint, um, if there are only a few cards that you want, and, and again, I don't really going to imagine, for example, this SAR uh, Grand Ninja card. I don't really imagine this card is going to be million dollars or even two thousand dollars uh, in about five years time uh, but uh, from a competitive standpoint competitive standpoint this particular set uh, does have some uh, cards that I would uh, probably say a lot of the competitive TCG player right now have said that you might need uh, one copy two copy or even 
four copies. Uh, if you are serious about the game, we get another Zapdos here. All right, we are slowly finishing off and burning off, completing uh, the first half of this particular booster box. So far, is I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not going to complain. Uh, Gloomit, Lumpent, Argon, a Cook. Which I think they repainted this right, Phantom. A Godin here and then a Sinister EX here. So three EXs so far. Uh for this particular set. We did get a Dragon Ball, which is exactly what we needed. Three more would be really nice. Three more would be really nice. Alright, Sandy Gas, a drippy Phoebus. River Room. Sunflower, Enhanced Hammer, Alakazam, we do have an AR here and it is a Timbor, and then underneath it is just a Heatran regular wreck here, we'll sleep the Timbor up, okay, alright, very nice, two more packs left from the, uh, from one of the side, I can't remember, whether it's the left hand side or the right hand side, we open uh, first. Okay. Maybe uh, let us know in the uh, comment section down below which is your favorite card for this particular set. Once we get a Pyrenee, Varun, and another uh, rare here. Uh, this week, uh, as we sort of mentioned towards the end of uh, our ETV video, uh, will be a pretty content rich week, I would say. Uh, we, you know, two videos uploaded uh, for uh, the ETB and the Booster Box. And then this week is also coincidentally the release week for the One Piece card game, uh, OP08. Uh, so we are hoping that as normal, as per usual, we will get a box of those uh, to open it, to do early opening for you guys. And then... Uh, and then uh, there is another video coming up. I was going to scoop it all up, actually, but I uh, didn't realize we have this is the second slide now uh, for the uh, Booter Box. Um, we'll also have a pretty special, uh, not, uh, a relatively special video. Uh, we visit Taiwan. I was there for a work trip. And then uh, we visit the uh, the Pokemon Center there. So we will do a video just to showcase uh, the Pokemon Center there, what it looks like. And then another hit trend uh, for those who may be interested for those who may uh, get their way across to uh, Taiwan uh, in the distant future may want to visit the uh, the Pokemon Center there we will uh, showcase it a little bit uh, in that video as well surplus Melotich here we are pulling a lot of beer in here and then we're gonna arrow on and then a Alakazam all right so uh, after we have hit this Dragon Ball EX or Team Ball, we have been pretty dry with hits. Uh, so hopefully towards the, uh, the second half, uh, we will be able to pick up more EXs card. I think, uh, you know, after becoming a competitive player, I always think uh, any EX is good EX. Uh, Glaceon! And then a Cornerstone Mask, Oka Point here. Yeah. Alright, I can just just checking and making sure the video is still filming all right here we go continuing on uh still have i would say uh, a good 15 packs left uh, within this particular box uh so far so good not gonna complain uh but the more the merit diplin here Kieran. uh cramorat slugma and then a arcanine uh Hollow rare there. Okay. I mean, we can essentially say uh, we uh, mission accomplished, right? Uh, we did get the, the card that we really needed. Uh, even though we need four, one is fine. Leafy on. River Room. Rilla Boom. A Volt Bit here. An Oki Doki. And then another rare here. All right. Come on. Give us something here. Give us something. Uh, to cheer for, uh, because uh, we want we want another Dragon Ball EX. We want another one. Come on, 
EV Rigoraf Roki here. So the uh, there's a lot of and the interesting the, the thing that is good about um, Dragapult EX is that uh, as we get a Chimchua here, another Art Rare. We'll put it smack bang in the middle. There's a lot of different ways to play uh, Dragapult EX. Uh, some people uh, have considering. Uh, lost zone for it. Uh, some people are playing it with Charizard EX. Some people are playing it uh, with the Zadu. Uh, so there's a lot of different ways to uh, play uh, this particular type. And the what's why is it so good? Well, because um, it is a Dragon type, meaning that uh, in the newer format, Dragon type doesn't actually have any weaknesses. Uh, and then uh, two energy to attack. Uh, 200 damage point which is pretty efficient and then the attack also does uh, or put 60 damage counters uh, onto your opponent's bench uh, if so if they're not careful uh, you can wipe them out pretty uh, quickly and that's why uh, I think it has replaced uh, Charizard as the uh, best deck in format again really depending on how you would put this deck together um, and also a lot of time depending on the, the luck of the day. Alright, we're flying towards the end uh, of this particular opening. Uh, hopefully, there is still more hits to come. Uh, 3 AR, 1 Full Art Trainer, uh, Diplin here, and no, a Gold Cut would be nice. Gold Cut would be nice, right? Uh, gold card would be nice. Uh, any more mega hits, an SAR will also be very, very nice. Litwick, Fujiana, Ulbebe, Mariana. Come on, Iron Bundle. I think we might have something here. Kimcho, and then. Oh, a Blood Moon. Uh, Earth Luna, which is another quite a critical card in this particular set. Uh, so. Uh, the ability here allows you to attack, uh, uh, allow you to use less energy for each of the prize card your opponent uh, has taken. So, very, very, very nice. Here we go. All right. Farfetch. Kadabra. Do we have more? Do we have more? We've got Grookey here. Uh, which we have made a bold prediction that the Grookey will indeed potentially have a Art Rare. Uh, and Waking, Walking Wake, uh, Chandelier. Alright, closing in. I think we're down to our last maybe 8 pack, maybe 10 packs. Uh, can't really count from uh, this particular angle. Sanchu, Volleyball, a Hazel here, Mopeko. Ah, oh, come on! We set a gold card, and you really gonna give us a gold card? Bang! A Blood Moon Ursula Luna here. I think I pretty much knew it was a Blood Moon uh, uh, Ursula as soon as I saw the bottom. Wow! Okay. Definitely uh, need to uh, slap my, <laughs> slap my mouth because we did say that. Uh, yeah, which is very strange. Maybe it was just a completely different batch. Uh, yeah, the. The the uh, the booster box that we open at the um, uh, at the at the pre-release didn't have uh, many hits. Now, one thing as well, I think you are supposed to get a A spec card for each booster box. Now we haven't got one yet, and then I'm looking at it. We've got five more packs left, so our A spec card should be coming up very soon. Maybe. And then iron leaves here. Okay. Alright. Yeah, we got five more packs left. Ideally, we should be getting a uh, an a ace pack card uh, because I think you are supposed to get one in each box. Maybe we're uh, going to break the myth here uh, if we don't get one. Alright, we've got a buck catcher set. Eevee here. Uh, nine tails and then uh, fall us here again okay all right whoops uh, we'll build up a pretty huge pile of the commons here one of the things is with 
uh, being a trading card YouTuber, you sometimes build a pretty big pile of uh, trading uh, comments and comments, uncommons. All right, Angela, Jinx, Heracross, Cross, a Love Ball, Mora, Molga, Vinzian, and a Teal Mask, Okapon. Uh, no, we didn't. I was going to say again, but no, we uh, we didn't pull this. So three more packs left. Where is this A spec card that we are supposed to get, or are we supposed to get uh, in uh, each of the each of the Berkey here? Vincent, Napalm, Argon, the Cook, Duncan, it's doing Growlithe. No. No, 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 still nothing here. True. More packs left. So maybe we are not guaranteed an ace back cut uh, in a booster box then. Fairy, Varun, Volbit, Lux Leo. The flute. Colin. Frogadier. And then. Ting Lu here. Alright, we're down to our final pack. We have not got any Ace Pack, which I kind of forgotten that this is a thing in uh, these sort of sets. This is the last pack uh, for the booster box. Uh, rumor was that you're supposed to get one, but we have zero here. And I don't think we're going to have one here as well. All right, Ducklet, the Fable, the Sigiri. We have a jamming tower. Oh, no, we do. All right, that myth has been broken. We do have an A-spec cut here. Jamming tower followed by Hyper Aroma and then Clefairy and then a walking wake. All right. Well, there you have it. That's our uh, booster box opening. Uh, this was probably better than I imagined. Uh, I thought we were only going to get one or two hits here, but we did get actually get a gold card, get a full art, two full art here. So I'm pretty happy with that. If you did enjoy this particular video, make sure you smash the like button. Like I said, we do have some OP One Piece content coming up this week as well as we have a new set as well. So make sure to subscribe, make sure to ring the bell for the latest videos and updates. Uh, if you're interested in those type of videos, early openings and review. With that said, if you are opening up some trading cards today, may the God of Pools be with you always.